All right, guys, back out here on the trap line. Um, this is the last snare, and we got a fox. Nice cherry red. Got my my buddy Joe out here with me. This check brought me some good luck. Um, we also got a picked up a nice make earlier too, so uh, it's been a pretty good check. The day and, after uh, Christmas. Yep. Drove up here Christmas night. <laughs> that is as prime as a fox gets, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Can't really see him that great. Yep. All right, guys, we're gonna continue on here. See ya. Morning, guys. Out here on the trap line this morning, and uh, just came to my first miss of the day. This is the second time this fucking trap has missed. You can see this mink? He fucking ran right up snapped the trap and ate all my bait. And this has happened in this trap twice now, the same trap, so I don't know what the fuck. That's weird. Normally conner bears don't miss, you know? They fucking, if they go in there, they're done. So it's kind of frustrating, but um, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna wedge it in there a little better, so he's gotta be really in the trap to pop it off. I don't know. It could be the box, too. Box, but it's just kind of sucky. I mean, this is obviously, it's going to, should be pulling first the second move to come in here. But I've uh, just been missing, so. Uh, playing around with some foxes. Uh, I'll get some video of that. It was, dropped a bunch of bait and hung a shitload of snares. Back down there around the corner for fox. And I'll get some video of that on the way back. But, uh, I'm not touching any of the bait or nothing right now. I just got it in bags and boxes and I just threw it off. But I'm not going to open anything up until I'm done. Because I got a bunch of wolf stuff to check and I don't want to be smelling like bait and beer. So, go ahead and get this remade and then uh, carry on down the trail. See ya. Well, guys, just made the first catch of the day. Let's go have a look. Boom, baby! Cross box. I think it's cross box. I don't want to wear those gloves and touch them. Shit, I should wear my other gloves. I want to keep this one. Oh, yeah. That's a full on cross. Woo! That's a nice box. He's super dark. Heck yeah. Let's see where I got him. Bad catch around the waves. He's a little fox, that's why I think. But yeah, man. Got one. That's cool. I, this snare, I had it set right here underneath the stick. You know, this is just a spot where they've been running, and just another blind trail set. But I put that stick, like the leaning stick, over top of the snare, and I had like multiple refusals on the snare. But they fucking locked up seen the snare or did something and they swerved it and I was thinking it was because I put that stick there and they'd probably been used to running this and that was never there before but I ended up getting this one so heck yeah you know I'm I just drug in a whole bunch of bait and uh but man blind trail snares just seem to get them I don't know like I picked up three this is my third one so far with some blind trail stuff but yeah looking fox. That's crazy. He's super dark. That's cool. I'm excited to get him on the stretcher. That's a cool looking fox. Yeah, this is going to be kind of hard to remake now. I don't know. Maybe I'll just set a snare there. I might just pull up here. This is pretty, pretty messed up. Well, that's cool. Um, I'll get him pulled out and get him in the sleigh. And carry on down the trail. See ya. Well, I just got that fox brushed off here a little better. Give you guys a little better look. He's just a dandy little fox, man. That is just perfect. He's got a really black belly. 
kind of cool. He's got these white paws. I'm just unhappy with that one. That's, that's a nice box. Just totally perfect, too. I mean, no rubs. That, did a little bit from the snare here, but I think that'll comb out. Just perfect, perfect hair. That is... That's a money fox there, man. Woo! Yeah. Alright, see you. Alright guys, I just learned a pretty valuable lesson. I figured I'd share it with you. Uh, got a Martin box here, and it looks like either a weasel or a mink or I don't know, something. Something came here and climbed up the tree. And he got up in there. And he must somehow drug my bait out. But, uh, the lesson that I'm going to start doing is you see how I got my trap with the trigger is on this side here. I'm going to flip it so that it's on that side. That way when he's climbing up the tree here, he doesn't have that gap to squeeze through. So that's my thought. All right, see ya. All right, guys, we got one hell of a crime scene here. Um, been following some wolf tracks out there. And I had, underneath this log, I had a snare for fox. And you can see, man, I think I freaking hooked a wolf in it. And he just went crazy in here. And I think it was on a drag, because you can see, dude, he's just chewing. Chewed that tree down. He's all back in there, chewing on sticks, and you can see this is what's left. I mean, he chewed this off. I freaking hooked up on something big, and it wasn't a moose or nothing because he's chewing. You can see he chews the sticks off. Like right here, there's a bunch of blood on that stick. So either it was a wolverine or a wolf. I think it was a wolf, because there's a shitload of wolf tracks right out there. I think I freaking... Uh, I might have... Oh, man. Oh, man, that was close. What the heck is this? Did I just lose a wolf? Oh, man. I don't know. Something in, in here was nasty though, dude. I think it was a wolf, and I think I got him by the foot or something. And he just chewed my snare off. Because you can see he's chewing on all that. Damn it! I don't know. Something big was here, and I almost got it. That, oh man, that sucks. Oh! I've yet to touch a wolf, so that could have been a first. Damn it. Dang it, dang it. I don't know. Okay, and there, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say wolf because there's a bunch of wolf tracks like right out there. It's possible that wolves are coming through and they've seen something. But I can't. I don't see it. It's so tore up, it's hard to tell. I'm going to take a walk out here and have a look around. What I'm dealing with. It's like, I mean, oh, there's wolf traps right there. I think I freaking hit the wolf. Dude, yeah, I mean, like he's all the way back here. I might still have him. Oh, I can't because, like, look at this. He's just pissed. I should probably get my gun. All the way back from here. I mean, this is a serious time from here, man.
Oh man. This is why you gotta check every fucking week. You can't be doing two weeks so. I did I checked just because it's two weeks soaked this time. What in the world? Just a bulldozer coming through here. It's possible it's around his neck. It might still be choked, you know? It might find him, so... I need to keep looking here. I'll turn you guys back on. Alright, see Well, guys, I've come to the conclusion back there that... I hooked the wolf and he freaking got out. He just chewed out of that snare, so... Guess I got that out of the way. <laughs> got my first chew out. <laughs> so... Hopefully I got big old wolf bait station down here. Hopefully they made it down in there and the luck will be a little better. So, all right, see ya. All right, I'm making another one of these sets. Um, it's just up above where I made the other one. Um, you can see the track split right here. So higher percentage chance right here. Um, so something that I have learned and granted I am a total freaking rookie so <laughs> take everything I say with a little bit of a grain of salt but something I've learned guys say sift chest high I sift almost all the way up to my head just because I think that it makes it weigh just super super lightly on the trap and there's nothing worse than getting one of these number five laid in here and almost having the damn thing set you know, with, with the sifting and everything, and then you snap the trap because you're, you drop a clump of snow or something. So I, I sift really high, keep it nice and light. And then something else that I do, so I'll show you this. Right. So sift, sifting, sifting, sifting. When I get down and I have this shit here, what I used to do is then dump that around the edges. You know, you'd be sifting and then, and then drop, sift, drop. And I, I stopped doing that because what I found was happening was I was building up, which, you know, initially I thought was a good idea because it was like creating like a, a low spot for them to step. But the problem is, is you build up a freaking a clump of snow around the jaws of the trap. And, you know, with these number fives, it's probably not as big a deal. But like if you're using number threes or something, it, it really slows the trap down as far as like the speed of it coming up through the snow. Um, so it was just... Take your time and just sift it, you know, really high. And don't don't lay like the little bit of shit that's left over in here. Don't lay it down on the trap or around the edges. So, all right. That's my two cents. Take it for what it's worth. I've never caught a wolf, so. <laughs> um, I have caught coyotes, though, and that seems to work pretty good. Well, something I changed and started seeing a little bit better results, so. Um, yeah. All right, see ya. Okay, holy shit. Like, this place got annihilated, man. There are wolf tracks everywhere. So I'm just gonna hold the camera and go for a walk and check some snares and pray to God. Come on. This is probably the best chance I've ever had of catching a wolf. So all of my snares are back in there. And I am just praying. Alright. <laughs> oh man. Well they found it. They definitely found it. They're fucking smart. Hopefully I got lucky. Please, please, please. I should have my gun. I always freaking do this. They're back in here. There's full track, so I had. Yeah. 
my god. Right here. Oh my god, they blocked it. They missed my... Wait. Oh, dude, smart wolves. He stopped right in front of my trap. I have a trap. Oh, I think... Yeah, it's still there. Oh, man. Oh, that's got me worried. Oh, man. Okay. Snare right over there. Keep going here. Okay. Should have set more snares. Okay. Snare there, snare there. Oh no, they didn't go back here. They didn't walk back in here. Oh, oh man, snare there. There's a wolf down there, I see him. Just make sure you can see him. Okay. Snare there, snare there, snare there. They walked right through here, or one of them did. Snare right there. Come on. Come on. They're all over. Snare there, snare there. Oh man. Running out of snares. Snare there. Snare there. Oh no. <laughs> snare there. Oh man, I think I missed them. You gotta be kidding me. They were hitting us hard. There, there. Okay, I got like two more down here. This is unreal. I didn't set enough snares. All right, this is just proof right here. You can never set or not set heavy enough, dude. Just lay everything. Set a thousand snares. Dude, they were sleeping right here. Oh, oh my God. I only have like two more. Mr. Wolf. Ah, there's one there. One there. I fucking missed him. Dang it. Oh. No fucking way. Oh, okay. I don't have any bait to replace that. I don't know. I'm sure they'll come back. There's still a little bit left. So I. Fortunately, this time I brought a bunch of snares. So. I'm gonna get to work. Hopefully next time I can get them. They left, I mean, you could see out there, there were some bomber trails coming in, so. Get this set up. All right, see ya. Well guys, I uh, just wanted to give you a quick look at this cat I caught. Um, I left my phone in the, in the truck on Sunday when I went out and checked the rest of my line, so 
picked up a cat though. It's a really nice looking cat. You can see he's super silver. He's got a few spots in there. Nice long hair. It's a huge cat. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to weigh it. I mean it's easy. I'd say easy 35 pounds. I mean it's just it's a gigantic lynx. I mean you can see compared to this fox here. He's just a monster. Got a big old nog on him. Pretty in hand. <clears throat> so yeah, that was a good catch. Um, yep, so I'm looking forward to getting back out there and uh, make some more videos. All right, see ya.